I was on patrol on last morning in Vietnam. And I was walking point again that morning. A young kid with an AK-47 in black pajamas popped out in front of us and started to raise the gun. And I blew his face off. Now, time frame wise, it seemed like it was less than a day. But in less than two days, I know that for a fact, I was back in Pike County, Illinois, hugging my mom. We got on the 727 as individuals again. We didn't go as, as units. We didn't have any time to disseminate any of these things in our head to anyone else. Yeah, the guy's sitting across the, the, the aisle from you, but you didn't know him. And your sandbag wall is up already because you're back in the rear with the gear and you don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to make friends with anybody because they might die in the next three seconds. So you get back to the world and you're going, oh, shit. this is great. And you go to bed, you got a full stomach, you know. And your parents haven't hit you over the head yet with are you a drug addict, but they will. And you go to bed and you sleep you wake up and you sleep. You wake up and you sleep. And your mother does something she's never done before. She comes upstairs and she touches you on the foot in the morning. And you got her by your frickin' throat and you're about to kill her. And the monster comes out. And it's that fast. And she's squeaking, Michael, your name. And you clear. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I'm, you know, what do you do? What do you do? You cannot turn from being what you have been trying to do into Joe Public in less than two days. It's frickin' impossible. Wisconsin Vietnam War Stories, a powerful new documentary from Wisconsin Public Television. Find previews, exclusive content, and more at wisconsinstories.org.